match is up next, and we have uh, quotes from both sides. These are titans from the scene, right? I think two of the favorites to go as far as possible. A lot of people would have had this as their grand finals for Asia East, but right now, one of them is already going home at the first round of top eight. Yeah, and I'd love to hear from Oil King first on this, and then NL afterwards, because, yeah, they both got a lot to say, and top eight from loser side is hard, and my first match will be with my bro NL. <laughs> that is an ellipses fighting and another ellipses. He doesn't feel good about this one. And NL, let's see how he feels. It's an honor to make it to top eight. I'm sad that my first opponent is my Aww. best friend, Oil King, <laughs> but I can't back down. I'll get through it. That's what we talked about, right? When it, you're two of the most successful players from a region like Asia East, right, where there's a lot of traveling involved. They have to go to different countries and whatnot to really make their name, and they've done it time and time again, right? So I'm sure they've traveled together. They've uh, really broken bread together straight up, and you can yeah. see them both just representing their friendship and their quotes. I love seeing it, but when you're this good and you get this far, this is the only option left sometimes. Yeah, it feels good when it's you get your to, to that point with your training partner. I mean, look at Big Bird and Angry Bird, right? Yeah. It's that same kind of story where it's like, if I had to get eliminated by anybody, I'm glad that it's you. And it's definitely the like the anime moment where it's like, it's your turn now, man. Carry on my will. And we're going to see it. If there's a will, there's a way. One of these players is going to be moving on to round two losers closer to Capcom Cup. Oil King versus NL. And the corner is immediately granted to Oil King. And it's bittersweet sweet as it is with both of these players meeting in losers, right? They should be proud with the fact that their scene has progressed so heavily, right? Yep. With the, oh, four other players in a winner's side top eight, it just shows the improvement of the Asia East region in general. It's got to feel good because it is about you versus the world, your region and how they can represent. So you can't be upset about that. Let's see how it goes. Backing up, giving up the corner. <laughs> yeah, Oil King still rocking the can for the business, right? This is wild to see. I definitely thought we were going to see the Rashid. And then now stick with the tried and true Luke, of course. Very slowly working him towards the corner. Oh, off the plus one crotch. Medium punch. You don't get to press your button. Great parry attempt from Oil King. Yeah, no gaps allowed. The kick throw comes out. Let's see the mm. wonderful block on the first reversal mm. from NL. He was letting them rip yesterday, and Uma was punishing plentifully. And Oil King already had the right read, right? So these are best friends, all right? That is a uh, that is a psychic read. The, the mental connection was there. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Another big read right there. He got him with the, the throw on the parry attack. Tick throw here, and now yeah. still gonna represent though. Man, he could have died for that, honestly. Yeah. If it was blocked into the punish counter run toxic starter, yeah, level dead. one, get off me. Yeah, that would have been uh, lights out for this first game, but we're still in it. And now a classic fireball game right here, and yep, perfect spacing from NL. Huge oh, counter the hit. Hezzy too. on that crouch medium punch was sick. And the triple lights, and he just waited to see if Oil King would respond with anything. Lands on the fireball. He could have got confirmed there if he committed to the run fierce. Oh, he actually got the punish, but not ready to respond with it now. NL's in burnout. This is very scary. You got to fight for your space. Yeah, but now burnout right back at you. So no drive impact ready. And you see the buffer right there. Do not press any buttons. The check is enough. The knuckle sandwich gets the job done. And now it's final round of the first game. I feel like this one is going to go further than the distance. We're going to get the maximum amount of rounds. Definitely could be the case, right? With both of these players consider each other best friends as well. You know, they know their tendencies, their habits, their play styles. Uh, very familiar. Oh, and the check on the driver. A little bit too close there from Oil King. Not slouching at all. One throw. Can we get another? No bust out. The jump back. I like that. Oh, just waited. Watched him with the throw in his face. And yeah. now big punish right now. Level 3 going to put Oil King on life support. Build that drive meter back as well to try to close out this last bit of help. Yeah, the only thing Oil King has is that drive gauge and the CA oh, and the throw bait. Again, a perfect from NL. Every defensive read from Oil King was answered excellently. And NL is looking good so far. The drive rush jab, man, is just such a deadly thing to block. Set up throws perfectly. Even when you try to press a button back, it'll still throw your button. You can obviously walk back and get a huge throw bait like you just saw. So many great options with your offense. Yeah, too much to handle enables the strike through. Mindset, the mantra of Street Fighter 6. Back to the corner, you go NL. 
not afraid. And like one of the best loops at controlling his drive gauge too. Like I, I feel like that's something that is so important with this character. Deepest of DPs, the walk back stuff. We saw that in Japan on DJ. Now we're seeing it on Luke. A little hard, a little easier because you don't need the charge. So. Oh, we just harassing right now. Snugging the overhead, Jinrai. Caught him walking back with the low afterwards. Now we're looking, looking to establish maybe some fireballs as well. And now willing to spin the OD, try to catch him starting up with one. Yep. Jinrai definitely becomes more Ooh. difficult to deal with. Didn't get the full confirm. Ooh. Doesn't matter. Another crouching medium kick. Closes out that round quick and cheap. After that fireball Oil King backdash, like he knew NL was gonna put his foot on the gas, right? That was so good. You can see the familiarity from both sides. He said, I'm going in one way or another, and I am stopping mm -hmm. all approaches, just letting it rip. Again, had to spend a lot to do it though. So dang, damn, they're even on the gauges, and now it's the level one to punish the fireball. Are you close enough? No. Oh. But right back at you, it does not matter. I got reactions for days. I know when you want to bust out and paint the walls, paint my face with the drive impact. Let's see how this goes. Oh, you're oh. done for. The bee's knees. Luke has delivered them again. That was a meaty knee, fam. That's healthy. Yeah, that is a... Uh, no ACL tears here. Absolutely. High in protein. Very good for the dying. That's how he got the Popeye arms. Mm-hmm. In that good spinach. All right, now establishing the fireball a little bit more. We're seeing it from Oil King. So I'm going to switch it up in the neutral. No whiff punish there. That was a bit dangerous from NL. Yeah, a little bit of a reach there on the Sand Pierce. Let's see, though. Now the fireball's coming out. And the whiff on the light to try to bait out. Can you block in time? Absolutely not. If it's not an ODDP, it's a super that is consistently checking these dry brush attempts. Yeah, I wonder if Oil King could have, like, canceled into ODDP from his own on the yeah. freeze. Ooh. That yeah. was a great perfect parry drive rush punish. Yeah, and I love that. You have to guess for the jab for continued pressure or the throw in the back dash at the best possible time. NL just takes that corner carry and uses it against them with these drive rushes. You're building that level three and you're building yourself a 2-0 lead in this loser side. I'm sorry, best bro. It's nothing personal. We're going to Memphis and you're staying there. I booked the hotel. Yeah. And NL represent one of the best options you could do when you do face a drive rush jab, and that's the back dash, right? Ken has a great block string to catch those, to catch back dashes and jumps, which is the jab into the stand medium punch. Yep. That will beat you trying to back dash or jump out. But he hasn't really represented that yet, right? So NL betting big and betting well. Yeah, I gotta have the check on deck. That jump, uh, that jump medium kick, I, I feel like that was a uh, miss input for a Dragon Lash or maybe a Jinron. We'll see. Going for a shortcut on the stick. See how this goes. Takes the Oki off the tackle. No cross cut, but again, it does not matter. Gets a little more pressure, and that was a huge dry brush. No check this time from NL. Well, well it was from the crotch medium kick. He yeah, hit the crotch yeah, yeah. medium kick, so Oil King, I mean, he's just ready to press buttons even on hit. He's one of those. I love that, too. If it's not parry on hit, it's buttons on hit. And yeah, you can see NL, he's just taking this slow tempo. He's got the fireballs on deck. He's got the life lead. You can oh. see, oh, this is a slight walk back, making him with the throw. The yeah. little micromanagement of his spacing has been so on point. And then just the light pressure bulldogging him down to put himself on set point. Yeah, I just feel like Ken is just continuing to run forward and gets checked on the chin almost every single time. Nothing has been a clean hit, clean conversion. And that's a clean start, 20% right off the top. We did catch and I was trying to do something on Wake Up. Yeah. Oh, the Tezzy too on the crouch medium punch. Not biting from Oil King. Good discipline. Wow, the perfect parry. Not in time to actually get a punish, but nonetheless, and that was looking mean. Yeah, maybe Jab would have been fast enough. Gotta watch the tape back again. Not afraid to dash forward. Really mixing it up with the drive rushes and the regular dashes. You see after the drive rush, yeah, this time Oil King jump back, but no. Drive rush in, get perfect parry, and I was gonna be able to corner carry with the subsequent combo. Oh, that Hezzy on the jabs right there. Catch it, Oil King, after the first drive rush. Yeah, might have been going for the skies. Oh, nah. That is a huge starter. Oh, you nah. off of level three. Yeah, this is going to be so close to closing it out. If it was critical yeah. art, it was definite. But you might pixel in a dream, or we're going to the next round. Next and it was round. Uh, last possible hit. Calculations from Oil King. Math Masters. That's where the Ken Masters comes from. Mm hmm. Oil King keeping himself alive. It cost him three bars to do so, but gotta live to fight another day to Ooh. keep fighting in the first place. And that wasn't even a counter hit. That was just a clean jump in Roundhouse. Let's see if the throw loops connect. Do you ODDP out? No shot. I'm holding this pressure. 
Mm -hmm. And then, oh, what do we thought was coming next after the three Ooh. lights? But it's big again here. Oil King looking to cash out. I like him keeping the drive meter. Level one to put him back in the corner. Yep, super smart. Best way to use the meter. You know you're not going to build that level yeah. three. Even the level two and a yeah. perfect. So dang good. That is, unless you neutral jump, you are getting smoked. And he can likely reach that too with the right DP option. So really good. Oil King staying alive here. Like I said, I feel like we're going to go to the distance. Even though it was a 2-0 lead, Oil King down and not out. Yeah, most definitely. That was a great just spacing trap after a level one. Very popular. I do not imagine he wanted OD Fireball and Wake Up, but you know, whatever. It'd be what it'd be sometimes. Oh, oh no. Oil King's reads on NL's defensive choices. They're coming through in the clutch now. Locked up, and they won't let you out. Straight Akon with the block string. Yeah, absolutely optimal here with the neutral jump. Two perfects back to back. And it's all started because Oil King has realized that NL is heavily relying on the parries oh. in neutral. They look oh. for the perfect parries, and it is, it's going down fast. The lows again. Yeah, you see NL even trying to press buttons back with a crouch medium kick there. Oh. Ooh, represents the stand light kick in a drive impact. We hadn't seen that yet. And that's one of the big strengths of Ken, right? He can just throw so many different looks at you. It's tough to react to everything. Yeah, and the oh. back dash comes out immediately if it's not the ODDP ready for, for the real. next option. So again, still at a deficit right back at you, but it doesn't matter. The last possible frame. Back to the corner you go. And that is going to be so close. One more guess. Let's see how it goes. You cannot take the throw here. Lockdown jumps out. I love that. Not burn out yet. And NL feels so scared here. Has to wait it out a little bit. Trying to get that third bar back. Mm -hmm. Trying to harass him with the crouch medium kick as well. And it's so scary, right? Because, oh, <laughs> never mind. That's even scarier right there. The ODDP again. That crouch medium push plus one on block. The Luxa are always pressing buttons afterwards. And Oil King knew exactly that. Got to mind the gap. And uh, like we said, the gap has been closed rapidly. We're in our final game between these two. Let's see which one of the Titans is able to move on. And I'm so happy this is going the distance. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Wow! After the whiff bun, he puts the parry up, knowing NL was going to try to take advantage of it. Beautiful stuff. And now we got the corner game. Oh, a couple of throw loops. Is he going to do it? He there did it do is. it. Oh, man. I thought Oil King was going to be able to bait it out. Yeah, that would have been, uh, I think that would have been lights out <laughs> at that point. But NL finding a way, knowing that Oil King was feeling the momentum, feeling the throws. But the pressure is not taking him down just yet. He's playing it a little bit slower. And L is the one who has to finally approach. And these right. level ones have been so consistent on the fireball. Still no life lead, though. Mm -hmm, exactly. Still got to make something happen here. And uh -oh. he's worked Oil King towards the corner. Caught the back dash, but too far for any subsequent buttons. Yeah, and the drive reversal so good. Gets the hit on the jump back. No perfect knuckle. Dang, that is the worst timing. Oh! Wow. Oh! And the follow up, no. He ended up burning himself out with that as well. And he doesn't have a level one, which means if he starts the Dragon Lash pressure, you're oh. not going to have an answer oh. out. You got to be so careful. And it's starting. The counter hits are flowing in. Level oh, one is there. So you have to be a little more careful. He's got Drive Impact back oh. as well. Throws it. And that's the option you need to represent. A lot of the time, when you go from normal into Drive Impact, they are close enough to get thrown. Great awareness from NL there. So dang good. And NL clutching it out at the last moment of that round. Had the level one. And that's why Oil King still full. Sent it in the level one again on the fireball. Every single time. And as Luke, right, you just want to sit on this lead. Getting that little bit of life lead, it means so much in this matchup. But oh, just as I say that, that life lead is going to be evened up real quick. Uh. Wake up with it. And Oil King knew, Oil King, well, NL knew that Oil King wanted to keep that going, had to get a little bit more life on the table for NL to push the initiative. And now he's the one on the back burner. He has to take the risk. Dry Brush, Dragon Lash, what's it gonna be? Fireball, who knows? We've seen everyone get answered and the jabs are getting checked now too. Oh, oh that what was a huge. beautiful whip punish, like walk back and just takes the throw reset. It's like that, Oil King? Yeah, knows that he doesn't oh, have critical no. art here, so it's not gonna be enough to kill. Continues to lock down and in burnout, that should be it. Beast mode, baby, doesn't even need the super, the level one to come out just to remind him. It doesn't need to be fireballs. It can be anywhere where the sand blasts are sending you right out here. I'm the pro tag, I'm moving on. One of the Titans has fallen and I've shown that my best friend sadly has to bow out. Man. NL, so dang good the entire time. And that was almost a reverse sweep too. Exactly, the composure from NL to close out that final game after Oil King. It looked like the snowball was just rolling downhill about to crush him. 
has maintained the championship composure, right, that like we talked about before. 2018 Combo Breaker champion for Street Fighter V is NL. He's got multiple top eights. I think he was a Street Fighter League champion one year as well. Yep. So this dude's got accolades on accolades, and you can see exactly why. Second at Red Bull Kumite, the one that Problem X won in Vegas, right? Yep. He's got so many great awards to his name, so no surprise he's the one advancing. But man, Oil King put up a hell of a fight. We know and love him for that exact reason. Never going quietly into the night. And he put on a hell of a show. Yeah, and it started from set point in his favor, which was almost a complete clean 3-0. He even got two perfects in a row, especially at that deficit. Like, you cannot, un like, that is impressive. That oh, yeah. is beyond impressive. And just started finding out all the wake-ups NL was trying to present every single defensive option. It just seemed like it was working out. And at the end of the day, it came down to that last game, not the last round, and NL really made it happen. Yeah, man, it was great stuff. This is a little bit of the Oil King comeback, right? We saw the throw loops, perfect bait on the ODDP as well. And that was one of the things oh. that kind of slipped through the cracks in game five was Oil King just couldn't get that last read on the ODDP, right? Yep. He had gotten the corner pressure going and now woke up with it. And when he successfully was able to take his turn then, he that really never gave it back. And that saved the set, just knowing that he was going to be scheming on the drive impact. And that's the thing. That's what I love about burnout in this game. And I used to talk about it when the game was fresh and brand new, but I've kind of shied away from that subject. But now it's so cool that even though you're in burnout, it makes the opponent a little bit more predictable, right? Yeah. You know they're going to be thirsty for certain strings that can chip you down or abuse the plus frames and they're going to be thirsty for drive impact when your back's to the corner and when you have the level one when you're aware that you can throw these block strings i mean it's not as easy as just abusing those options uh from your opponent being in burnout yeah and it felt like in that situation nl uh, always either had the level one on deck and in the position where he did have the level one he knew the opportunities where he could throw and having that in your mind at all times i think is paramount in your success so mm -hmm. really good stuff from NL. And if you're the one applying offense, right, you can listen to that little devil on your shoulder. I know they're telling you to drive impact, Do it. but sometimes you just got to holster it, my man. But unfortunately for Oil King, he's going to be bowing out, and he is going to be designated to the World Warrior events because, of course, 